in the late 70s, the Western world had moved over to use gas as a fuel for the industrial heating applications. So there was no further development on oil heating systems and particularly on oil burners. PCRA in 1985 uh, gave a project to Indian Institute of Petroleum to develop a fuel efficient burner for the Indian industry. And that's the time the film burner was born. The film burner had a very simple concept of saving fuel. As you can see, normal burners had just a simple inner tube through which the oil used to be coming and there was an outer tube through which the air was coming and the so, air swirler out here used to just swirl the air in single direction, single stage atomization used to happen. So here the combustion was not completed because there was always a problem of a solid cylinder of oil going through. The oil could not be split up to the level it should have for having a complete uh, combustion happening. The film burner had inner air tube in which the air was coming in, which was the secondary air. Over on top of that was the oil tube through which the oil used to be going. And on top of there, that was the another layer of air, that was the secondary air coming from, which is the combustion air. Now when the oil comes through this little film, if you can see, the air coming from inside has a swirler and twirls the oil outwards. The oil coming outside from there obviously goes in flow like this in a cyclone and on the top another layer of air cuts through oil so the oil is entrapped between two layers of air so a film of oil a hollow cylinder film of oil is formed through two layers of air and because of this concept you do not need to have excess air giving, given to the burner to complete the combustion and that's the reason this burner saves fuel because in this burner we require 5 to 10 percent of combustion uh, 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 excess air levels whereas in conventional burners it was up to 25 to 40 percent this excess air did nothing but just went inside and cooled the furnace so the film burner was a big boon to the indus indian industry because it was very simple to use it had various application advantages like in two minutes you could take the whole burner down uh, service it and put it back it is a multi-fuel burner. The other advantage of this burner is that because of the hollow cylinder, there is no chance of any dripping in this burner, which is a very, very prevalent uh, problem in most of the industrial applications today. This burner can take up to 300 degrees of preheated air. And because the tubes are all made of stainless steel, the life of the burner is very, very large. So, Basically, it has minimum maintenance, it has the advantage of uh, fuel saving and normally a burner system pays back in a couple of months.